Very good afternoon, everyone. We are so happy that all of you could join us today for Elder First Steps Virtual Christmas Gala. I would like to welcome our Director Principal, Dr. Amrita Vora, our Pre-Primary Principal, Ms. Aarti Kaval, our Communication Head, Ms. Suganda Khandelwal, our Coordinators, Ms. Nikita Patel and Ms. Namita Singh, our lovely parents and our children, or should I say our junior master chefs. Any festivals are incomplete without special, delicious and yummy treats. To keep our Christmas spirits high, today we have with us the mastermind behind Growing Chef, Miss Ekta Malotra who will conduct a fireless cooking session for all you junior master chefs. Growing Chef Studio exclusively runs culinary programs for children of age four onwards. Ms. Ekta Malotra has been a part of early childhood education field for over eight years. She has used her experience to create a unique hands-on culinary program for children. Her love for food and enthusiasm to teach children has resulted in Growing Chefs. Growing Chef Studio focuses on complete hands-on baking and cooking with age-appropriate tools. Apart from cooking clubs and holiday camps, they even host baking and cooking birthday parties. Currently, they are hosting online classes and providing do-it-yourself baking kits. I would request all of you to join me in welcoming the very passionate and creative Chef Ekta Malotra. And without any further delay, I would like to hand over the screen to her. Over to you, Chef. Hi, good morning everyone. Or should I say it's good noon. We're starting exactly at 12. Is everyone excited? Give me a thumbs up. One thumbs up if you're a little excited. Two thumbs up if you're very excited. Put it near your camera if you're really, really excited. Very good. All right. So today I'm a chef, but I'm also a reindeer. I'm going to help Santa get you nice, nice. We're going to make nice cookies for Santa and we're going to make like lots of candy, lots of things with lots of candies for him. Is everyone ready for that? Everybody has everything with them? Very good. Okay. So I'm going to keep asking you sometimes, are you ready? Are you following me? Are you done? If you have done it, if you finished, give me a thumbs up. Okay. If you've not done it or you're finding it difficult or you want me to go slow, give me a thumbs down. Okay, and then I will wait for you to finish. Okay, got it everyone? Very good. Excellent. I love so many people that they're there and everyone is talking with me. This is the only way we can talk. Thumbs up and thumbs down. Good. All right. So the first thing we're going to do today is we are going to make some really nice pops. Has anybody ever heard of the Grinch? Give me a thumbs up if you've heard of Grinch or thumbs down if you've never heard of the Grinch. Yes? Have you all watched the movie also? There's a book, there's a movie about the Grinch. So the Grinch was somebody who was not sharing a lot and he was not very happy about Christmas. But then lots of things happen. We all will find out when you read the book or you watch a movie about it, about what it is. Okay, so the Grinch, the color of the Grinch is green. Okay, his face is green and he has a nice Christmas hat. So we're going to make that first. Okay. The first thing that we need, we are going to keep with us. Keep everything else outside and only bring in Santa to what I asked you to. Okay? We need our toothpicks. We need our grapes. We need strawberries. We need a banana. We need a chopping board. A fork and a butter knife okay so bring all that in front of you everyone yes got it good so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to cut the green parts of our strawberries do we eat these leaves of the strawberries no we don't eat them right so we're going to learn how to cut it 
all we need is a butter knife we don't use sharp knives we only use a butter knife okay so what we're going to do is hold all your leaves together okay and hold your strawberry by the leaves so it becomes easy for you to cut okay keep it down take your butter knife and where the white part is just gently go front and back and cut off the tops we don't want the tops tops we are going to put away into a separate bowl okay so let's do that for about four strawberries yeah we'll all do four strawberries hold it by the leaves take your butter knife and then go front back front back and chop it If you are done with it, you can show me in your camera also that you are done with it. Very nice. Okay, some of you all are already ready with it. Already chopped it off and kept it. Excellent. Should I move ahead? Come on, should I move ahead? Good. Next thing I'm going to teach you is I'm going to teach you how to slice. So right now what we did, we just chopped off the tops of the strawberry. Next thing we're going to learn is how to slice a banana. Do you know what the word slice is? Slice means when you cut it into thin long strips. But here we'll be doing round slices. Okay? So let's take your banana. even if your banana is old remember even if it's turned black it's still nice there's nothing wrong with a banana that's turned black okay let's peel our banana and let's keep it on the chopping board okay Now the next step I want you to all first watch me. So everybody pick up your hands. Hands up in the air. Now hands behind your back. Hands behind your back so you're not doing anything, okay? Now only watch what I'm doing first. After I finish doing it, I'll watch you doing. So in case you are making a mistake or you're not able to do it, I'll be able to help you. Okay? So everybody is going to watch. We're going to take our fork and this is going to help us make same size slices so we're going to take our fork and we're going to put it in our banana like this don't put it fully through only slightly just so that we can hold it easily okay so with our left hand or if you're left in the right hand we're going to hold it like this then we're going to take our butter knife and wherever these lines are there's space between the fork we're going to go and we're going to slice One, two, three. Remember, don't put the fork fully through; otherwise, your slice will turn into two pieces. Okay, like this. Yeah. So we'll get nice, round, and thin slices. Okay. So can we all make four slices, everybody? I'll show it again. Put your fork, but don't push it through. Just slightly. Okay. Hold it with your other hand. whichever you don't write with the hand which you write with hold the knife in that hand put it in the hole and slice so we need to make four slices all right now everybody start let me watch you do it Once you're done, you can give me a thumbs up. Okay, the answer is it. Yes, yes, yes.
I can see the children having so much of fun. Everybody done? I can see almost, I think everybody is almost done, yeah? Give me a thumbs up. Nice big thumbs up. Very good. Okay. Now what we're going to do is with the remaining of our banana, we also need to make the top of Santa's hat, right? Santa's hat. I can see somebody is wearing a Santa's hat. Who's wearing a Santa's hat? See what's at the end of your Santa's hat? There's a little bit of white cotton, right? So we need to make that part also. So you can take one extra slice, right? And we're going to cut it into four pieces. So you don't need to hold the banana just with your other hand. First, we cut half. Okay, then you can turn it around and again cut it in half. So that means totally we got four pieces. This is called a quarter. One fourth, right? Come on. Can you make four small pieces now? Those of us who are using kitchen knives, be careful and please listen to your parents while they're giving you the instructions, okay? Those who are using butter knives, you can do it completely on your own. Excellent. Everyone done with their pop small pieces also? Good. Thank you for the thumbs up. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our toothpick. All right. So with our toothpick, we're going to make the Grinch. Now you have to be careful. The toothpick has a pointy edge, right? You can see it has one pointy edge and it has one edge, which is flat. Okay. So we're going to use the pointy edge. We hold it from the flat side and from the pointy edge, we can put things inside. So we're going to take our washed grapes. Now see your grape also has a hole in it where the stem used to be. Yeah. So we're going to take this pointy edge, put it where the hole used to be, hold the grape from the sides, not from the top, because the pointy edge is going to come out from here. Hold the grape from the sides and push it through till it comes out. Okay, we'll get it slightly down. So we can, we have enough place to hold it, but the grape is over here. Okay, let's do that for four toothpicks. Everyone done with their four? Show me somebody. Anyone can show me what they've done. Let me see. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Now make sure that you have enough space on top because we still have to put banana, strawberry and another banana piece. Okay. So we'll bring this as down as we can with keeping enough place to hold it. Yes. Now next thing. First comes the snow, the little bit of cotton at the edge of Santa's hat, right? So we're going to take the banana. Now find the middle of your banana, the center part, okay? Put it through. Make sure that you're holding it from the sides, not from the center. You take it and we push it through. And then we take our strawberry and the same way we put our strawberry. Everyone reach to the strawberry, put one banana. Yes, very good. I saw the banana, now put the strawberry also on it. I'll wait. Let's do one full first and then you all can do the rest. After the strawberry, keeping the round side in front of the banana, we put a small piece of banana. There's your Grinch. The Grinch wearing a Santa hat. All right, now let's make all four. 
Can everybody make all four now? If you feel like having a snack while you're cooking, you can do that also. This is a nice thing to snack while you're making. I can see somebody's already started eating. So what we'll do is, after everyone's done, we'll take one picture with everybody holding their Grinch pop. Arhan is ready with his Grinch pop. Oh, Madam, that looks lovely. Very good. I can see a few more Grinch Should pops. All hold already... one? Let's all hold one. Maybe someone can take a picture of all of us holding it. There you go. Big smiles. Let me see. Oh, lovely. Nice, Shivanj. Poonam. Excellent. Who wants to try one and let me know how it is? You can put it in the chat. Who wants to try it and let me know how it tastes? Yes? Very good. How was it, Kritika? Did you enjoy it? I can see you enjoying it. Very good, mother. Riyan's not yet done. Kurman, did you like it? Very good. All right. So now you can make lots of these and go and give it to everybody. Maybe you'll spread a little bit of joy. The Grinch will help us spread some joy. Okay. So now let's keep this aside and we'll get ready for the next one. You can wipe your hands if they become a little dirty. And we're going to get ready for our next one. We're going to start with the cookies. We're still going to need our chopping board because we have a few more strawberries we want to chop and keep. Okay. So next we're going to make, first we're going to make our, uh, we just prepare our strawberries and keep. Okay. So four more strawberries, chop off the tops and keep. We will do a preparation and keep. So four more strawberries, just chop off the tops off. Yes, ready everybody? 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make some glue that you can eat. Have, can you eat favicon? Can you eat glum? No, right? That's not something we can eat. Or when we want to stick some cookies together or we want to do something fun, we're going to learn how to make a glue that you can eat. Because that glue is made out of sugar. Okay? So let's take our icing sugar. Okay? We need three tablespoons of icing sugar. We will also need a little bit of water and a little bit of lime juice. Okay, everyone bring that in front. So you need one bowl which has the icing sugar. If you don't have icing sugar, then you can use powdered sugar with a little bit of corn flour. Written the recipe in your email, so you can check that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take half teaspoon, very little. So half teaspoon you'll find in your measuring cups. It's written one upon two. That is half teaspoon. So we're going to take half a teaspoon of water and we're going to put it in our icing sugar. And we're going to take half a teaspoon of lemon juice and we're going to put it in our icing sugar. Right? Only a little bit. Don't put too much. So if we put extra water in something, can we remove it out? If you drink extra water, can you take it out? No. But if you drink little by little, you can put as much as you want. So same there, we're going to put little by little so that we don't make it too liquidy. Okay? Now hold the bowl with your hand and with a spoon, start stirring it and mixing it. We don't want thin. We like fevicol is a little bit thick, like that we're going to make it. Okay, come on, let's stir it. Very good. So keep stirring it. It will be a little bit thick like this, but keep stirring it. And keep stirring it till you reach this consistency. See, it should become like this. Smooth, it is called. Smooth running consistency. Consistency means how thick something is. Can everyone see this easily? So you need to keep stirring it. If you're using powdered sugar, it might be a little grainy. That's okay. Parents will look, look into that. But if you're using icing sugar, you will make it like this. It will take about a minute. So just keep stirring. If you find it is too thick, add just a drop, not much. Just one or two drops of lime juice or water. But don't add too much. Okay? Everybody done with it? Give me a thumbs up. Then I'll move ahead. Show me your glue. Yeah? Let me see your glue. Ready? Now this glue you can even taste. So we'll do a taste test later on. Or do you all want to do a taste test now? Now or later? Now? Okay. So what we'll do is, we'll just take our little pinky finger. Little finger and just put a dot on it and taste it. Mm, yummy. So wipe your hands before you start anything else. Does it taste good? Now remember, don't eat up all of it, okay? You have to use it. Don't finish the whole thing. Okay. So now what we'll do is, we will start first with our second one, which is also a Santa hat. First one, the Grinch was wearing a Santa hat. This time, we're going to have an old one. Okay? So we're going to need, we're going to use our Oreos. And we're going to use our strawberries and the glue. Okay. So all we do is we keep our Oreos down. Now you can again watch me first. Okay. Everybody hands up. Hands behind your back. So you watch me make one full Santa hat first. And then you start making it. Okay. So I'm going to take my Oreo. Okay. I'm going to take 
a nice big spoon of my glue. Okay, put it over here. I'm going to drop it onto my Oreo. All right, don't spread it. Let it drop. It will automatically start spreading. Okay, so I'm just going to press it like this a little bit. Dab, 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 so that it starts spreading. Add a little bit more. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press, just gently tap it. See, it's all in the center right now. I want it to spread around my cookie. So I'm just gently, not very hard, very gently going to tap it like this. Can you see my circle is becoming bigger now? I can tap it to all the sides. And slowly, slowly, I'm going to make my circle bigger and bigger. Okay, watch first, then we'll, I'll watch you do it. So now that I have a nice big circle, I can place my Santa's hat on it. Oops, dropped it. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of my glue and put a tiny dot on top. There you go, a cute little Santa's hat. So you have a nice healthy fruit also, you have your favorite Oreo cookie also, and together it makes a nice snack. All right, so everybody, let's make four. Come on, you can all try them now. Once you're done, you can show me. So remember, put a small circle in the center, and then tap it and spread it around. Tap and spread. Make the small circle bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I think Varun is all ready with his Santa cap. Oh, yes. Very nice, madam. Excellent. You're working fast. Very good, Arhan. Aliza, yes, Aliza, put, put the glue on it and then put your strawberry on it. So it's good to cook, right? Because you get to eat along with it. And when you're cooking with such fun ingredients, I think everyone could always want to cook. Yes, very good. So next time somebody comes over or you have to carry something to give someone, do you think you can try making these kind of snacks for them? I am sure they will do that. And this now is there are some of... Yeah, they can do it all by themselves, right? Exactly. And some of them are already enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like an early lunch for the of them. <laughs> I think Madhav is done with the second one too. Wonderful. Yes. Very good. And Varun is ready with all four. Excellent. Oh, lovely. It looks so nice and festive. So this one, if you keep it for some time, like for half an hour or so, then the glue will start becoming hard. The same way like how Fabricor becomes hard, even this one will become hard. So if you keep it for some time, it will become hard and it will just stay in its place. And now that it's cold also, it will become hard to take. Okay. So while you're like making this, I can ask all the parents to go and get a glass of hot water. We're going to need hot water to melt our chocolate. So they can go and melt it. Uh, so they can get the hot water 
all the children you must remember the water is going to be very hot so you are not going to do this part this part your parents will do for you okay very hot water we don't touch right so everybody let's get some hot water so now let's get ready with the next things we need hot water we need our gels now remember we need our gels to decorate let's not eat it before we start decorating okay we can snack on it after we've decorated our cookies okay let's get your dairy milk and let's get a new paint brush okay not something you use for paint and we will also use our glue that we've made and the round cookies that you have whichever size shape you have that's okay and the round cookies remove your round cookies also if you don't have round cookies it's okay we can even use square ones it's fine everybody ready with it i see you all are still setting up okay okay i'll wait yes sani i'm waiting now in our hot water without opening the dairy milk okay now we have two dairy milks right so one dairy milk give it to your parent and we are going to put it inside the hot water without opening it okay and the second dairy milk you have to hold in your hands okay now we have to try and melt this dairy milk yeah yes it's okay if you are using chocolate sauce also it's fine you can remove the chocolate sauce in your bowl and keep and you can use that also okay those who have the chocolate can use it if you don't have the chocolate you can also use your edible glue no problem okay now we're going to do an experiment is everybody ready one you put inside hot water with the cover and the second one hold it in your hands and start rubbing let's see can you melt it with the heat of your hands yes varun you have a question come on let's try can you heat it with the heat of your hands is everyone trying it push rub 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 let me see if you can do it yes madam Yes, Aran. Let's see who's going to be faster. Is the hot water going to be faster, or are you going to be faster? Is it starting to melt also, or no? What happens in the summer when you forget a chocolate in your pocket and you go out into the playground to play, and then when you come back and you put your hands in your pocket, what happens to that chocolate? It melts fully, right? Why does it melt in the summer? but not in the winter think can you tell your parent why it happens why does it melt in the summer and not in the winter because of the heat in the summer it's so hot around everywhere that the heat just melts the chocolate now it's winter we are rubbing it also so much we are putting so much heat on it but still our chocolate is not melting it's still so hard that's because it's so cold around but the chocolate that we put inside the hot water if we touch it after a few minutes it will melt okay so we let that be with the parents let them melt the chocolate and then give it to you okay then they'll open it and give it to you so parents just let it be in the hot water while we're doing the other things just let it be in the hot water and then once it melts then we can give it to the children Okay. Varun, if you have any question, you can uh, chat with us. Okay, should I move ahead? Uh, yes, Chef. I think you can do that. I have sent a message. If I, okay. uh, if there is any questions, I will. Perfect. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make. two types of cookies so i'm going to show you the types of cookies that you can make using the melted chocolate and your gems are you all ready to see it thank god i'm getting it for you so the first cookie we can learn we're going to learn how to make is a reindeer cookie does it look cute like a reindeer yeah we're going to learn how to make a reindeer cookie 
then these are some examples of what else you can make you can even make a christmas tree for christmas tree you have to remove all your gems and remove all the green color gems then you can make a christmas tree we can also make a wreath and today we'll also make a snowman the three circles one for the face one for the body for the rest of the body okay there are some other types of cookies you can decorate these are all from our diy kits but these are all different types which you can use with the same kind of glue yeah okay so should we get started so open your gems packets everybody open your gems packets and let's remove two red color gems those are going to be for our reindeers and for your snowman also remove any three gems whichever color you like whatever is your favorite color you can remove today i am going to use two yellow and i will use one yellow just to make it look different okay these are going to be the buttons of your snowman for the nose of your snowman you can get us orange color gem because it has a carrot nose right so we can do an orange gem for that okay so open your gems packets and remove the right colors of gems don't eat the rest we can still use them okay okay now what we're going to do is with our glue we're going to stick them onto our cookies so for the reindeer the nose we need to keep it a little below so this is the center of your cookie this is the center of your cookie the nose has to come little bit below because we still need place for the eyes and the what are these called tell your parents what they are called antlers all right so we just take a little bit of our edible glue small dot very small dot and at the bottom half of your circle we put a small little dot of our glue and we stick our reindeer's nose okay let's make two we'll make at least two reindeers one is rudolph one is rudolph's friend if rudolph gets tired then we'll have a friend small little dot and then that goes on to Okay. While our chocolate is melting, we'll still continue with the rest. We'll start with our snowman also. Okay. So for the snowman, the nose will go in the center of the circle. We'll give it a small little dot for the nose. Then we'll put the orange gem. and let's put buttons for our snowman again there is one more way you can do it if you are finding it difficult to put the glue on the cookie you can hold the gem in your hand you can put a dot of glue on the gem since you all have little little fingers they are very good to do all this work all our big big fingers we find it difficult to do big fingers you can do it so easily you can hold it and turn it around and stick your button don't you wish your buttons of your clothes were also made out of gems then you can just whenever you feel hungry just take one out and eat it okay let's put three buttons for our snowman you can use any color that you like Everyone's heart concentrating with so much focus. Are you all done? Should I move on? Should we do the next step? Yes. No. Some are saying no. Some are saying yes. Yes, I think it's a mix yeah. of yes Please. and no's. I'll wait. I'll wait two more minutes. You all can make your button. Okay. 
So while they are doing this, parents, you can just check on your dairy milk. Just be careful, the water will be pretty hot. Just press it and see if it presses and it becomes liquid. Then what you can do is just cut it open from the top and keep it in a bowl for the children, but they'll have to use it immediately. Yeah. So just cut it open when we're just going to start using it. So that it stays melted. Because it's quite cold, it becomes hard pretty soon. So once they're done with this part, we'll cut open the dairy milk. We'll just check till then parents if it's melted. Yeah, good. All right, I think so now we should move on. So now they're going to give you the melted chocolate. So take the melted chocolate and your brush. Okay, so even I have some melted chocolate here. I'm going to use my brush and now I'm going to paint with chocolate. Have you ever done that before, painting with chocolate? So we're going to give our reindeer cute little two eyes. Okay, remember eyes go above the nose. So let's not have a reindeer with eyes going here and there. Okay, so two cute little eyes and then antlers, right? So for antlers, take more. Take a little bit more and then, oops, and then we can paint some antlers. Okay, don't worry if it falls here and there, you can always wipe it off. Yeah, so we'll give him some antlers. Now remember, they're not just two. They have little, little things coming out of them also. So we can make all of those. Yeah. So let's make two reindeers like this. Eyes, I'll do it again for all. Two eyes. And antlers. So even if you have a square one, you can even do this on a square biscuit also, no problem. And then we'll do our snowman. So you'll want to watch me do the snowman also. Should I do it now itself or should I wait? No response means everyone is doing something. Yes, they're all busy. <laughs> everyone is very busy. <laughs> they're all busy. Okay, I'll just do with the snowman on the side. Again, just two small little eyes for our snowman. And you can also give your snowman a cute little smile. And then we'll give him some hands. I think everyone knows one, one famous snowman from a cartoon that everybody loves. He kind of looks like that, doesn't he? All right, and we'll give him two twig arms. Yeah, so that can be your snowman. And if you want to make a Christmas tree while your chocolate is still melted, I'll show you Christmas tree also. For Christmas tree, you have to take and paint a full triangle. Now, how many sides does a triangle have? Three sides, right? So we have to make a three-sided shape, which is a triangle. So you can just hold it and press your paint with it, just like how you would paint with very thick paint. And paint the whole triangle, and then you can stick as many gems on it as you want. If you want a colorful Christmas tree, you can do a colorful Christmas tree also. Okay? So this will be where your gems will stick, and you need to give a step. If you don't want to stick gems, you can always leave them like this also. They look cute even like this. 
you can write your name with it anybody wants to write the the name of the the starting alphabet also you can do that Okay, once you're done with all of it, to clean your brush, you clean your brush with water, right? But to clean this brush, you can give it to your parents and they clean it with hot water and then you can use it again for the next time you want to paint something with food. Let me see, has anyone made anything? Let me see what you all have made. Oh, very cute, Shivan. Very cute, Rindia. Very nice, Neha. Gurman, very cute. Excellent. Everybody enjoying? All right, okay. So now we need to hurry up. We need to make a house. I'm just going to show you all how to make it. And then you all can make it because it takes a little bit of time. Okay? Everybody ready? So let me show you how to make a house. For that, we need our Paleji biscuits or any square biscuits. They should be a little bit hard. And we need a grater. Okay? So this, you all just are going to watch right now. Don't do it right now. Just watch me. And then you all can do it later on safely with your parents. Because you need to use a grater for this. You need to do it with them. Okay? So just watch. So what we're going to do is, I'll show you what kind of house we're going to make. Can you all see the house? This is a baby house. I'll later on show you an actual full gingerbread house also. I've made that also from our kids. I'll show you that also. Okay? So this is what the house is going to look like. So totally, how many cookies do we need? Let's count. Two for the roof. One for front. One for back. That's how many cookies? Two plus two? Four cookies. And two for the sides. That's how many cookies? Six cookies. But I'm going to show you how to make it with just five cookies. We're going to learn how to half a cookie. So one cookie, we're just going to hold it from the center and make it into two halves. Now we have two cookies. So that's one, two. Two for the roof and two for the side. Okay? So now the side cookies, we need to grate them and make them into a triangle shape. You have to do this very slowly. If you do it very high, if you hold the cookie very high, then the cookie is going to break like this. Okay? So we need to go a little bit slowly. Right? Hold the grater and with the other corner, you're just going to gently start grating the cookie so that you get an angle. Do you know what an angle is? A slanting line. All right? So we have to do the angle, the slanting line from one side. And then after we made it slightly from one side, we have to do it with the other side. Okay, so now it's not equal, right? This one is smaller, this one is longer. We need to do it till we make it equal. Be careful when you start coming to this part because the tip might break. Okay? So like this, you have to make two pieces. Okay? So after you make two pieces like this, then you have to assemble it with your glue. So you take your glue. You take your half pieces, right? And you have to put your glue where you're going to attach the walls together. So you put some glue over here. You take your other side piece 
and you attach them together. Now you have to hold this like this for two minutes till it dries out. Okay. Right now I'm leaving it, but actually you have to hold it in place till it dries out. Then the same way you're going to do the other side. Right, and keep holding it till it doesn't dry. See, otherwise it will start falling, right? So right now I won't complete it because I think we are going way into lunch time. So once you hold it like this, it will take you about 10, 5, 10 minutes for these two to dry. Then you put your back one, right? Let that also dry out. Once those are dry, then at this part you have to put more glue and put your ring. Okay, got it everyone? Your parents will help you for this one because this will take a little bit of time. In the meantime, I'll show you a gingerbread house. So you all can see this one? So this is a big gingerbread house that we completely decorated. With all different types of candy. So you all can make a mini version of that with cookies. Okay, good. Did everyone enjoy today? Oh, lovely. I can see yours, Varun. It looks lovely, your tray of cookies. So now you make a nice big tray of cookies and you keep it with your Christmas tree for Santa. Maybe Santa will eat all of them. Good, Nina. Good, Aarti. Done. Thank you so much. I think this was amazing. I can't wait to try all the recipes and all the cookies, the Grinch and the Santa Claus cookies. I, I can't wait to try all these things myself. So children, did you all enjoy? Show me a thumbs up. All of you. Yes, I, I can see that they really thoroughly enjoyed the session. And I can see few of them are still, you know, trying out and making things. They're so engrossed. Yeah. And I'm very sure all the parents enjoyed it too. Great that. tips shared with us. Uh, I mean, the techniques, it was amazing. Um, so children, I hope you all enjoyed it. And thank you so much, Chef Ekta, for taking out time for us. Most welcome. Thank send, you so much. I'm sure you all have some way of sending pictures or something. Do share some with me also. I'd love to see what everyone has made. There we are will surely do that. I can that. see here. I'm sure the others can also let us know. We will surely do that. Yeah. And um, I would also like to take this opportunity to thank our director principal, Dr. Amrita Vora, our communication head, Ms. Suganda Kandelwal, our parents and our junior master chefs. And let me remind all of you, our Christmas celebration does not end here. We are all super excited to see you all dressed up as Santa for another fun-filled event. And once again, thank you so much, Ekta Ma'am, for giving our junior master chef this amazing experience. And with this, we would end our live session here. I will see all of you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, ma'am.